Uh, hello, uh, my name is um, Sati Satmer Dapel from Nigeria. I'm doing this video on behalf of Nigeria Computer Society. I'm a cybersecurity specialist, and we have uh, observed the frequent and persistent uh, ways where WhatsApp accounts are being hacked by different hackers. And it has been a thing of concern, especially uh, here on the plateau and uh, globally. And so this, this video is just to give you a brief information on how these attackers get you attacked or hacked, two, how you can prevent yourself, and then three, how you can actually recover your account if it's been hacked or something like that. So um, let's go through it um, uh, right away. Okay. Now, first of all, what you need to know is that your account cannot be hacked if you don't give the permission. If you don't give the authorization, if you don't give the go-ahead, your account cannot be hacked. So what this hackers do, first of all, is that they rely on your ignorance for you to be hacked. So first of all, they will call you on your phone to tell you, oh, um, I am so, 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 doctor, so, so, so. And they will call a name that you may be familiar with or a name from a group that you may be familiar with or something like that. And they will tell you that uh, there is a meeting that is going to take place and we would want you to join. We want to find out whether you have received the notification of the meeting. It's an online meeting. Or they will tell you uh, we have changed the WhatsApp group of a particular activity. I uh, would want to enroll you to join that. So in other words, they are trying to get your attention. That is one. Two, once they get your attention, they tell you that if you have not gotten this message link or notification or a Zoom link or whatever code, we will send it to you, then you will send the authorization back to us. The moment you begin to hear this kind of message, know that you are a target for hack a WhatsApp hack account. And the immediate thing you need to do is disconnect. End the call and tell them you're not interested or end the call and disconnect. Don't give them the pleasure of continuing the investigation. If for any reason, you 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 were able to give them the information and they succeed and if your whatsapp has been hacked it is important to take immediate action in order to secure it here are some steps to recover your hacked account if so ever but before you even go there remember you have to calm down don't panic don't be afraid. It's not a big problem. You can actually recover it. The first thing you need to do, you log out from all your devices. What do we mean? Log into your WhatsApp as quick as possible. Then go through this uh, where you have these three dots. Okay. Then click it and then go to link devices. Once you go to link devices, it will show you whether you are linked to any device, whether desktop or uh, whatever it is. So you go to WhatsApp, settings, link devices, then log out. Click log out from all devices, especially the ones that you do not recognize. So that is what you do. Secondly, re-verify your account. Now, the account verification comes with a code. There's a code that usually comes in. So you open your WhatsApp and then enter your phone number. Once you enter your phone number, then a code will be sent to you and then it will verify. But you see what these people do is that once they hack in your account, they quickly change your phone number. They do what we call SIM swap, a virtual SIM swap. They change your phone number and then any verification code that you send, instead of it to come to you, it will go to them directly. So that is a problem. So if that is the case, don't worry just go through the verification using your sms can you see you will see resend it using sms or you tell whatsapp to call you all right they will give you the code to use so the code will not go to them 
All right. So follow the instructions to verify your account. You will receive a six digit code via SMS. SMS means text message. So you enter the verification code and then you log in. All right. If, for instance, I said you have already waited so long and they have already hacked your account and the authorization code goes to them. Don't worry. Wait for two minutes, then resend the request again. But this time around, either SMS or call. Okay. For those of you that have not done your two-step verification, this is a big problem for you very frequently. But for those who have done a two-step verification, I'm sure that your it will not be hacked easily. Okay. However, whether you have done your two-step verification or not, the moment that you have gotten this two uh, this uh, code on your SMS, the step three is just to go to your two-step verification you go uh, up here you go to whatsapp go to settings account you click settings and then you go to account once you click account then you click two-step verification the moment you enable two-step verification it will ask you to enter your verification pin okay then you will enter your new verification pin but if for instance they have already changed their, your two-step verification i will tell you what to do you don't need to worry i'll tell you what to do next but for now if you have not done or they have not changed then quickly enter your two-step verification and importantly importantly a lot of people do not know this provide an email address for backup in case you forgot your pin okay there's where you under your account you will also enter your email address if you have an email address fantastic if you don't have an email address it's good to go and create one step four check your security notification okay ensure you go to whatsapp settings then you go to account under account then you click security uh, after security then you will come here you say show security notifications all right you say turn on these settings to receive notification when an account security code has changed your calls and your messages you send uh, are encrypted so the moment people begin to notice that your encryption code has changed they will begin to call you then you will know that ah there is a problem you think that your account has not been hacked but people will begin to call you all right so you always put in your notification then step five the moment you know these hackers once they hack your account what they are targeting in most cases is to to on on your behalf solicit for information solicit for help uh, ask for money and things like that so you inform your contacts that your account has been hacked if you know anyone that is in any of your major groups quickly call the person let the person know that your account has been hacked and nobody should be um to pay attention to any request for money that is going to come in all right so you make sure that you tell them not to, to respond to any suspicious message because people may want to do that in order to help you now if for whatever reason all that you have done did not work okay you have tried to do this tried to do that and the hackers have been able to change everything what you need to do like i said don't worry this may take a little longer but it's the show we you will send an email to whatsapp this is their email address support at whatsapp.com just go to your email and send email support at whatsapp.com and you send a very simple message the subject should be um recovery of hacked whatsapp account then you will now send them the mail to tell them your uh, whatsapp account has been hacked if you know the time it has been hacked it will even help better you will give them the date you give them the time but if you don't know the time no problem but you can specify the date then you provide your full name your phone number and then uh, you now explain the situation if necessary so once you do that i am sure uh, whatsapp will get back to you but they may not get back to you immediately but between one hour to two days all right 48 hours 
be sure they will get back to you. So you need to be checking your mail very, very quickly, and then they will be able to disable that and rectify your account. Now, previously, there are steps that people used to do. You can, they just uh, uninstall the WhatsApp from their account and reconnect it. Yes, that may also work, but these days, the hackers are trying to change their tactics. Okay, so once they change their tactics, the, 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 that particular method doesn't seem to, to work. So, uh, like I said, I'm sending this on behalf of Nigeria Computer Society, Plateau State Chapter. And we wish that you stay safe online and uh, ensure that your account has not been hacked. If it has been hacked, go through those steps to get yourself uh, recovered. If it has not been hacked, prepare yourself. Make sure you have your two-step verification. Make sure that you, you attach in your email. And um, if you have done all this and then you begin to get messages or calls from these people, uh, make sure you don't subscribe to it. Don't click any link that you are not sure of. Any web link, they are saying that MTN is giving free bono or uh, Dangote is giving money or uh, Tinipu is giving whatever. Don't subscribe to any of those unless you are sure of the source. Thank you very much and um, have a great day.